All right, I'm just getting back uh, from from Denton. Got Wolfgang sitting here helping me. What's up, Wolfgang? I um I saw another cat today at an install, and he is mad about it. Okay. He's a good kitty. He's like up my butt right now. Like, what'd you do? You saw another cat? Not me. So, we've got another cat damage uh, router here. ONU. Um, this is uh, Wi Fi 6 uh, ONU. Does not matter that you see the MAC address because how'd you get over there without even touching me? All right. Uh, does not matter. This uh, MAC address is basically just going to be a test device. Um, one thing I noticed is that there is no screws in this thing. Uh, it's very laptop-ish. Um, I found a few tabs back here with my thumbnail. You see them right there. One, two. So I'm gonna pop those two tabs and then pry this lid off, I think. We'll see what happens. All right, so just at first glance of how this thing is all uh, put together, really interesting. It's very laptop-ish. Um, this cover that you see As black it's actually not black at all and I bet you that has something to do with the uh, Wi-Fi being so badass on these things so see how it's just that circle right there right and that's so that you can see the lights the lights are actually like that that's pretty cool um, couple things to note um, uh, this guy I broke my thumbnail I mean I fingernail today sorry about that she's glued on so they they put the antenna on then glue it put the antenna on and glue it which is really really blowing my brain right now <clears throat> I'm gonna try to get this glue off I'm gonna put another antenna on this thing now this heat sink um, we got our 3D printer. Uh, it's in the kitchen. Well, I don't know why. Um, so this heat sink's covering up the processor. There's probably uh, some type of a strange like Broadcom. Ooh, that screwdriver ain't catching those. Um, it will not catch those either. The tri wing. Huh. Yeah, I use that for a lot of stuff. Um, let me grab a screwdriver. All right. So just four screws. This thing is, a, is lead, I guess. I mean, it's pretty heavy. It's not aluminum. I would say it's 100% magnetic, just based on the, the weight of it. And then there is what appears to be a thermal pad that's covering the memory. And then thermal pad that's covering the processor. Um, and I want to say, huh. uh, these guys have a Broadcom chip in them. I'm going to definitely fact check that before I go too far. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's pull out the board and see what's left over. Before we do that, though, uh, please note, Here's my fiber, okay? Fiber, 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 optical chip. So, really fascinated by that. Um, this is my um, G-Pon optic. I'm gonna just do a slow cap on this thing. Oh, this says antenna two, but I don't know what that's for. Antenna, um, I, I mean, I feel like that's the 2.4 radio 
and this is the um, 5 gigahertz radio and I'm curious to know if that's a GPS antenna or what but you'll see right here the customers damaged this uh, coupling right here and that looks like nothing more than just a regular uh, SC to SC APC coupling um, that tab is broken and we're gonna go ahead and see if we can't repair this joke. So, I don't know what actually I was gonna expect to see here, but I mean, it's pretty obvious this device still works just fine. But imagine how much force it took to push this in. I mean, it wasn't, I mean, it was it was more than 20 pounds of force, I would say. Um, that's broken. I, I'm impressed that there is a coupling inside of every single device. Uh, I, I don't I don't really have a whole lot to say about that. I, I, I'm just impressed that that's what it is. Um, right here, you can see it broke this Bakelite piece it broke that big light piece so as far as I mean that might have been more than God, I can't even break that off oh so yeah dude that thing took a hit the lady said that um, she didn't know what happened but I'm telling you right now it took a 20 or 30 pound hit right there it's wild so nothing's damaged here, I don't think. Um, from a, I'm just thinking about so many different things right now. From a, a logistical point of view, what what do I actually have going on right here? Um, and and it is just opening up a bunch of different weird possibilities uh, in my head. So. Those two jumpers, why would a jumper plug in here to then go around and plug in again? Because that's the antenna. It plugs in and then that's the antenna. Wow. Okay. That's blowing my brain out right now. That's one of the antennas in this thing. There's nothing, nothing to it. And that is the other antenna. Wow. <laughs> okay. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I really should have opened one of these up before. Um, so just a quick concept. I'm pretty confident that's the actual radio chip. No. That's the laser. Yeah, 100%. That's the laser. That's the other side of that. What MTK stands for. Huh. Really dang interesting. There's a switch. That's the reset switch. Go net. <laughs> well, anyway, there's not much to one of these, um, but I'm really impressed at this is what gives it the weight. It's just a piece of nonsense, and this is also just a piece of nonsense. It's a heat sink. So the weight is the heat sinks. Um, this here. is really interesting really really interesting all right well that was um just to kill a few minutes here while um, my um station wagon that one right there that wheel i don't know if you see that wheel but she's jammed up in there um i popped the accumulator uh, for the hydraulic suspension 
um, in it, and uh, part gets here today. Um, so I'd really like to be driving that for work again, so that I can just throw miles on a beater. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. We're going to get her in the driveway, drag her up, and, and pop that accumulator off and put a new one on. It's, it's like an accumulator valve that is... Uh, actually takes 2700 PSI so gotta figure that out I guess I don't know